if we are not intentional about reflecting on our deeper purpose, we tend to go day by day responding to other people's needs, responding to our to-do list, going to various meetings and just taking care of chores around the home. And it becomes a life that can be quite shallow. Eventually it feels to us to be quite shallow because we are using our energy for taking care of quote unquote life demands. And then, you know, in the evenings and the weekends, we just decompress by all the entertainment that's available to us. I mean, there's more than enough entertainment these days, whether it's, you know, Netflix, you know, um, video games, uh, or, you know, meeting with our loved ones. Um, nobody ever, well, rarely does anyone in our life ask us, hey, have you gotten some time to just reflect on the bigger picture, on your life's purpose? Now, some of you are quite good about taking courses that kind of give you a structure to reflect on these things. Um, but I don't feel like that's really enough because once that course is over, once that group is over, then if you haven't developed a habit, you resort back to just your regular, you know, being led by the demands of everyday life and not living as intentionally as you could. And that is where the real opportunity is for experiencing a deeply fulfilling and peaceful life uh, and, and also a life of deepest creativity. So I want to encourage you to do two things. One is to schedule in your reflection time. Now you might say, well, I don't have time, George, to schedule in reflection time. I mean, well, first of all, those of you who are willing to schedule it in, that's wonderful. But, but if, if, if the scheduling isn't a habitual thing, if it, that's hard for you, you know, then here's what I want you to do. I want you to build in reflection time into your downtimes, into the times where your, your mind isn't actively working on you know, whatever task is in front of you. So a couple of ideas. Um, I'm hoping that you exercise, that you at least go for a walk. And when you're going on a walk, do you just plug in the earphones and listen to a podcast or listen to music or an audio book or something? And, and those can be wonderful things, but what if on your walk or on your commute to and from you know, your office or you know, if you're taking a trip or whatever, when you're, when you're out of the house anyway, going to grocery shopping, on your commutes and on your walks and your exercise, what if you don't listen to a podcast, audiobook, music? What if you're not talking to somebody and you instead use that time not to think about all the things you have to do today and all the things that you're, you're behind on, but, but take that time to do bigger picture thinking? So I've got a list of 15 questions for you in the blog post associated with this video. So go ahead and look at that. But the questions are things like, what, how can I best contribute to the world? And these questions aren't going to give you a right answer right away, but it's meant for you to reflect on that. Or another question might be, um, what kind of person can I most help in this world? Or just a, a more general one is, what am I here to do? Or what is my life purpose? Maybe it's not about doing, but it's about being. But these bigger questions, they don't have a single answer that is going to satisfy you for the rest of your life. You might find an answer that satisfies you for a month or for a year, maybe. But the beauty of these questions 
is that they, the answers and the reflections will evolve as you evolve in your life. So I invite you to take a look at those 15 uh, questions uh, in the blog post if you'd like. If you have more questions, if you have another question that is helpful to you, go ahead and comment below the video. But so that's, those are the two things I want you to do. One, if you can schedule in reflection time on a habitual basis, at least once a week, at least once a week. And if you can make that a habit, great. But more likely, you need to build in reflection time in your downtimes. When you're showering, for example, when you're washing the dishes, when you're, when you're, um, when you are, um, you know, getting up in the, in the morning before you wake up and you're lying in bed for a little while, you can think about, you can think about these things. Not when you're trying to go to sleep because then you might start thinking too much, but when you're wanting to get up and, you know, then, then uh, you might, you might spend, especially on a, a weekend or on a, on a day where you don't have to get up right away for an appointment, you can reflect in bed for, you know, five, 15 minutes, you know. Um, but yeah, when you're doing chores, when you're taking a shower, when you are on a walk, when you are doing anything or any time in your life that you're not mo mentally focused. So that's, that's the first thing I want you to do is, is, to, is to use downtime or mental downtime, I should say, for reflection. And second is to ask bigger questions in your reflection time. Don't, because if you don't use your downtime intentionally in your mind, it starts easily going to, I should have said that to that person. Um, oh, I can't believe that happened. I can't believe I did that. Uh, oh yeah, I still have to do this or that. It, it's so easy for our mind, monkey mind, sometimes people call it, to go in all kinds of directions that are not necessarily useful. And, and we don't give ourselves that, that bigger picture or that deeper reflection that leads us into the most energizing directions for our life. The things where the most meaningful projects actually come out of the deeper reflections or the, 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 the biggest changes that you decide to make to your way of being or to how you uh, interact with somebody or a group of people or how you decide to do something in your life that you typically do, but you wanna do it very differently now. So these bigger questions um, is really what led me into my business, uh, into the most meaningful habits that I have in my life. Um, and it continued, these questions continue to evolve me. So I hope you'll uh, take these two things on. One, again, build in bigger picture reflection time into your downtimes. So get, first, get clear. Get clear. I really invite you to do this. Write down when your mental downtimes are and start to intentionally say, ah, ah, during my, my walk, during my dishwashing, I'm not going to be watching a random video or, or, or a good video, whatever. I'm not going to be uh, listening to a podcast. I'm going to be using that time for deeper reflection. Number one, build that in. And number two, use good questions that are big questions. And like I said, I have a list of 15 questions in the blog post um, that, that's located uh, below or above this video, wherever you're watching this. So, all right, I hope this is helpful. My name is George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. I love talking about how do we build business in a way that feels deeply meaningful to us and that feels really good to those that we're serving. So um, I hope this is helpful and I look forward to your comments and your questions if you do this. Uh, let us know below, inspire us with how it's helping you. And um, I'll see you in another video. Take care.